Bonjour, True Footy Babies. We are back for another episode of the True Footy AFL Evolution 2 Career Mode with the mighty West Coast Eagles on the back of what was a ridiculous come from behind win against Richmond at the G. Honestly, probably the best game I've played on Evo so far. I didn't mess with the difficulty or anything like that. I just somehow overcame all the momentum that Richmond had and banged home something, well, I don't even know how many goals in the last quarter, to somehow win, keep my chances for top spot alive. I think we're still top at 10-3 and three at the moment, and in today's game we're taking on Young King Cookson's beloved North Melbourne here at Optus Stadium in Perth. They've actually been a plucky side this year, as they so often are, to be honest. The uh, the Roos, I think they're 8th on the ladder or 7th on the ladder. can't actually remember. I think they're 8th. Um, and usually a hard team to really grind down at the best of times. So I'm expecting, like I say every week, a pretty good contest here. In terms of the selection, I think uh, Gaff is out with a minor one-week injury, and I've brought back in Xavier O'Neill. But the big man, Nick Nat Nui, I should have mentioned first, is coming into the side, and I've actually shockingly dropped um, Tom Hickey instead of Bailey Williams. I reckon Bailey Williams is a good sort of second luck who can float forward and uh, I kind of want to also keep exploring the youth here. Wow, I really wish I hadn't phrased it like that. Uh, so a big game with Nick Nui back into the side. Let's see how much he can improve this team. Got hands to it. Ball picked up. He heads for home. Oh, that is a good pick up. And a great goal from Zebo. It's just a little bit too slow there with McGovern to respond. North Melbourne get the quick start. Yes, straight down to Nick Nat, uh, from Nick Nat to Kennedy in the goal square on the goal line. Basically, he snaps it through. Really quick thinking there. Oh, Gov finds Petch. Does he take the option of Kennedy? He does. He should settle this and go back and kick his second. He's coming off a good game against Richmond. Four goals with... Uh, that is not a great kick by me. Far out. Dom Tyson. Too good for Liam Duggan there, who really should have done better. Oh, Tom Cole's very, very slow to get up there, and that's probably going to cost the Eagles a goal. That was terrible. We might have to drag him for that. Ben Brown runs into an open goal, although it was a very good kick on that angle. Holding the ball, paid against Mason Wood. You'd feel a bit unlucky if you're Wood there. Oh, that is a good kick by Williams. He's found Elliot Yo, the skipper. He stood up well in the absence of Shuey. Although that is an average kick, allowed for too much wind there. Oh, there we go. Quarter time. That is a tough and a bruising encounter. North have been... Oh, I don't even know. I actually feel like I've been the better team. Which is something I don't often say. I often uh, admit when the other team's been a bit better. I just think we've been unlucky, particularly with some umpiring decisions, dare I say it. Um, but overall, if we keep working this way, I feel like we'll come good at the end. Yes, Josh Kennedy for some... Or it's Jack Redden even, I was going to say. Although he's done it again to Kennedy. The f North defence is all over the place. I mean, I don't know if I'm actually a threat from this range. I've missed that many shots on goal this quarter and, well, this game so far. Looks like he's nailed it. North have a rare defensive mistake. They've been really airtight so far. The Eagles get one back. Just their second goal of the game, but they're in front. Oh, that is great play. I don't know why Jared Brander is finding himself marking in the forward line, but I'll take it. That is a good kick. The Eagles extend their lead. Oh, yes. Uncontested Eagles everywhere. For some reason, North's defence have just shat the bed in the last five minutes. Uh-oh. 
He might have just dragged it through. He has. Lucky. 14 points. His teammates rush off. Swanson. The tackle misses completely. Oh, Tommy Cole with some pace. Can he kick a miraculous goal? I wouldn't say miraculous, but gee whiz, that was a great goal from the young fella. Oh, how was that? Might have turned it over, and he has. Darling should be able to back himself here. Should I tour it? Here you go. That is a bloody good kick. He's nailed it. The Eagles are starting to creep away here out of nowhere. That's a great kick. Great lead too from Redden. He's having a blinder, I must say. He has been one of our best on ground. He's found Petrocelli. Can he take the grab? He can. This would hurt North Melbourne. He's put it through, and the margin's slightly starting to get ahead of North Melbourne here. Is it out of control? Oh, halftime has just beaten North there. Could have had a chance of a quick shot on goal, but there it is. A huge second quarter by the Eagles has broken the game open. North kept to just one solitary behind in that quarter. The Eagles had 13 inside 50s to 5, and 23 hitouts to 9 shows how much Nick Nat is dominating in the air as well. They are just been, they have just been completely dominant. This game needs a spark at the moment. Oh, it's a foot race, and Rotham is not keeping up for whatever reason. He's a quick lad, but I don't think he's got the attributes in the game, otherwise he's completely cooked. That is bizarre. They have run into an open goal from their halfback plank, just about. That was incredible. The ball is coming back into play. Clears the contest under pressure and keeps it alive. Oh, Nick Nat, can he put it away? In his comeback game, he can. The Eagles are at 32 points. Oh, he's found it. Found Darling. Oh, there is a few of those players here. Surely he hits up. Is it Redden again? Had no man all day. He's hit the post in his last two kicks, but he's been one of the best on ground, I reckon. He needs to get a reward for his great effort. That should be a goal. It's 41 points the margin. Oh, that is a good handle. Gathers it now. Pushes through with power. Uh-oh. North, if they're going to have time, they're probably going to kick a goal here. Surely this is their goal to mess up. He's stuck it through. That is just their fourth goal of the game. The Eagles have had a pretty tight defense, but just twice now they've kind of got plays out the back and been able to score. Guides it down. Is in his possession. Opportunity for Hearn. Oh, here we go. So North have just caught us napping a little bit with those last two goals. Some average setup from me, but they've cut the margin back to 37 points. Oh, that's a dumb kick. And they have been... Well, they've got what they've deserved for that kick. They've kicked it straight into a pack of Eagles. Jared Brandon makes no mistake. He's got two, I believe. Oh, probably going to give North a goal they don't deserve here because there's not much he can do about that. I couldn't control Darling. He's nailed it. Back to 49 points. Oh, penetrating handle. Brass has been made a full of by Jai Simpkin. He's a slippery little small forward. He's talented. He's kicked a great goal. First possession of the game, gee whiz. <laughs> Don't know about that. That was a ridiculous steal. Jeez, North got all the momentum. It's very, very hard to actually get the ball. Around. What is going on there? <laughs> that would have been an amazing soccer goal. And that is full time. Pretty lackluster last quarter by the boys. But it doesn't matter. We've got an important win. They're all important, really. 
Percentage slightly boosted, could have been more, but North kind of came home with a wet sail. And nonetheless, we, re we retain our top spot and consolidate it. 44 inside 50s to 29 tells the tail. I was inaccurate in front of goal compared to how I usually am. And that probably was the difference between this being a 41 point win and maybe a 10 goal win. Overall, a solid performance from the boys as we look at who's played of the match. Jack Redden, I'm glad because I felt like he was dominating, played in that wing role, and was kind of left unchecked, but was actually quite impactful as well. 14 possessions tells the story. He had a goal, could have had three. Elliot Yo was strong, as was Tim Kelly. Sam Durden was really good for them as that intercepting defender because some of my forward entries were pretty crap. Uh, no multiple goals, or sorry, no more uh, than three goals to any one player for the game, but Branda stood up and kicked two goals in a strong performance from him. So, as we always do, guys, we're going to take a look at the ladder before we end the episode, and the Adelaide Crows have shot into second spot under new coach Matthew Nix. That is ridiculous. What an unbelievable turnaround of that club he's been able to affect in just his first season. 10-4 and four is something no one would have expected after four rounds. You've still got Collingwood up there in third, Hawthorne up fourth, JWS and Geelong. Our next opponents sit in sixth spot, and we have got a massive game next week. Traveling away to GMHBA, we won once there in, oh, I think, 21 years, and that was the game we won by uh, coming back from nine goals down. So not a happy hunting ground for us. I'm expecting a very brutal encounter. Hope to see you there, guys. As always, it's going to be a fun one, I am sure. Take care, and I'll see you then.